I believe you should be honest with kids at any age. You may tell them the story differently and more simply, but the, I, don't, I don't think you should tell them uh, untruths, whether it's about Columbus or about George Washington. children are instructed from propaganda tracks like those of Howard Zinn that try to make students ashamed of their own history. The heroes are military heroes. When you look at the statue, right, the, the statues on the city squares are, are the statues of military heroes, you see. Uh, and I think we ought to uh, examine that premise that our great heroes are military heroes in war and, and look at other heroes. Young people want icons and they want people they can admire and respect and look up to and, and so military heroes fill the bill. But there are other heroes that young people can look up to and they can look up people who are against war. They can have Mark Twain as a hero who spoke out against the Philippines war. They can have Helen Keller as a hero who spoke out against World War I and Emma Goldman as a hero. They can have Fannie Lou Hamer as a, as a hero and Bob Moses as a hero. The people in the civil rights, they are, they are heroes. They can have Ron Kovic as a hero, the Vietnam veteran who came back and then opposed the war. We have so many heroes. There's Muhammad Ali who refused to fight in Vietnam. How better a hero can you have than him? So there, there, I think there are ways of satisfying the young people's need for uh, icons, for models, for uh, yeah, people who protested and, and people who fought for uh, equality and, and justice and won. I can't think of anything more important we can do in education than, than to get students to, to challenge these fundamental premises uh, which keep us inside a certain box. And, and we want people to think outside of that because if they don't, things will never, never change. If they don't think outside that box, if they don't challenge the premises, then we'll go on as we have been going on. And then we'll have the kind of world <laughs> that we have had so far, which is not good enough, <laughs> right? <laughs> a world of war and, and hunger and disease and inequality and racism and sexism, we don't know. We want to move away from that, and so we have to re-examine you know, these premises.